Hi, Michelle. Thanks so much for contacting me. I'm going to show you how to set up your Woo Themes Premium News WordPress theme. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change this featured image. So it slides nicely, and there's actually images in it. Then I'm going to show you how to change these uh, pages up here. You might already know how to do that. And I'm going to show you uh, these categories up here, how to change these and add to these. And um, the last thing I want to show you is how to change this sidebar information. All right, so let's get started. I've already logged in, uh, so I hope you know how to do that. But if you don't, you just go to slash wp-admin and click enter and log in. Okay. So once we do that, let's go back into the dashboard and let me show you how to uh, do this featured image right here. All right. So the first thing we need to do is make a post. This is like a blog post. And these posts go to this featured image. So the pages don't actually go to the featured image the post does. So let's make a new post. So just go to post, add new, and give it a title. And now we can um, scroll down and upload an image right here. You can actually embed a code, I think, also. But let's upload an image. And we'll just do this one and press open. And then just press use this image. OK. So that looks pretty good. Um, if we need to crop it, I think we can also by going to upload and selecting the files. Let's see when we need to crop. Let's say this one and press open. And then before you use the image, go to edit image. And this right here is 300 wide by 225 tall. So what we can do there is get a selection of about 300 wide by 225 tall and if we want that this to be our featured image we can go ahead and press the crop button and click save now once we do that then we can say use this image and now it'll just be that right here instead of this divided and not up close. So once we do that, we have to check the uncategorized um, category. And we can set this to whatever you want. And I'll show you how to do that in a little while. So we click Publish. And we can see if we refresh that the featured image is right there and it looks pretty good and then you can continue on reading that whole blog post and people can comment or whatever all right now let me show you how to uh, add a category so let's go to categories and I don't know what your category would be but you know this could be project one. Maybe you want to do it by project. And just put in project one here. And we can add new category. Now that we have that project one, I'll show you what we can do with that. But as we can see here, there are three posts that are categorized under uncategorized. So um, let's go back to under the premium news 
we go to theme options. Uh, and front page layout. And we can see that the featured category is under uncategorized. So everything here is under the category uncategorized. But what if we want it to be under project one or under featured, uh, the featured category? So we can just change that to project one now and we can click Save All Changes. And if we refresh, we'll see that nothing's there because nothing is in the Project 1 category. So in order to get uh, these posts into the category, we simply go to the Post section and find our image and then select the correct category that it needs to be in. And maybe it would be best to put uh, a featured category so you know what's going on the uh, home page, front page. And we can press update and now we will see that when we refresh the image is in the correct category and it's in the project one category. And now we can see that our new category is here. So this is where the categories go. You might want to delete uncategorized. That looks kind of stupid. Uh, and put your different projects here or however you want to organize your website. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is getting your logo in here. I don't know if you have a logo, but uh, maybe it'll just say your name or, uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to update your logo. So to do that, you go under Premium News and you go to uh, Theme Options, probably. And uh, here's your logo and you can just upload it from your computer. So that's pretty easy and that will go right here. And it will be in your logo. Now there are a lot of more options uh, for this theme and what you can do is you can go to premium news and you can view theme docs and this has really good videos um, on how to do pretty much everything and it's by the people who made the theme so it's really detailed and really good so I recommend going through that just so you can customize everything that you want to customize the next thing I want to go over is this sidebar right here. Um, up here, there's this advertise here thing, and I didn't find any settings that could get rid of this. So I don't know if you're going to have advertisements. Hopefully, that would be pretty cool. Um, and you can control that by going banner ad management and you can set where the advertising page is so you can set it to like slash hello or just hello and it'll go to your website.com slash hello and you can set the images the different images so right now they have their images in there and you just press save all changes make sure not to press reset all theme options I think I actually accidentally press enter and it clicked this one before it clicked this one and I had to do it all over again so just make sure you don't do that so that's for up here um, this is uh, there always I think and uh, these this sidebar you can actually control from over here so let's go to under appearance if we go to widgets we can drag <clears throat> this Black Studio Tiny MCE. This is a custom plugin that I uh, put in for you, but it allows you to do uh, anything without code. So you could put an image in here or and you can make a bold or make it bigger. That doesn't look very good, but just for demonstration purposes. 
and we can refresh and we can see that it is right here so you put in images and you can make it look at you can make it look much better so I think that's all for uh, this thing and I think you can find everything else on the um, on the theme documentation uh, if you need any help just get in contact with me and I'm going to install also Google Analytics for you so um, yeah thank you so much Michelle and I hope it helps